Hello, and thank you so much for listening to the Modern Christian Women of Color Everyday Victory Podcast. You can find us at www.mcwwisdom.com. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118.24. For the next 21 days, we will be praying. A lot of us are still struggling with so many areas of life. And at this time when churches are taking breaks and the world is going crazy and the pandemic variants are still roaring, we need to center ourselves, to strengthen ourselves, to get calm, to go into the secret place of the Most High God, and to really focus on who we are what God is telling us, and how we are supposed to get through this transition that the world is making, and also that we are making in our individual lives. So we need to pray. Every day, we will be reciting a prayer that comes from the book, Prayers and Confessions for Modern Christian Women. You can find out how to order it on the website, mcwwisdom.com, and click the books section. There is also a prayer journal, a spiral-bound prayer journal for you to record your thoughts, your prayer requests, and your victories. You also want to get that as well. Even without the book and without the journal, we still must pray. Sometimes you might not know what to say. And so allow this podcast to jumpstart your prayer life, to put you in the frame of mind to pray, and to give you some pointers on how to pray the Word of God and also confessions. Let me tell you, I wrote this book because I sincerely was frustrated, disappointed, struggling and my prayer life was suffering. I was not praying consistently, and in a lot of cases at all. So I just asked the Holy Spirit, listen, how am I, what am I supposed to say? How am I supposed to pray when I feel so much distress? And this is the book that I began to write. I myself pray these prayers in order to jumpstart my prayer life. When I say jumpstart, I just don't read a prayer, say a couple of scriptures, and then say I'm done. But I read these confessions to put me in the spirit of prayer, even when I don't feel like it. So when you listen to these prayers, you also want to be inclined to go ahead and get the book or the ebook in your journal, because the words you speak are powerful. Our faith increases when we listen to the word of God because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But changes begin to manifest and take place in your life when you speak the word of God over your circumstances or over whatever is distressing you. Your words are your means of claiming victory over whatever problems you are experiencing. So in these 21 days, I won't do so much of an introduction like I'm doing now. We'll just get to the scriptures and to the prayer. And again, you always want to go to the blog, www.mcwwism.com, find the prayers category, and follow the prayers 1 through 21 in this series. The prayer book is not only a book of prayers, but it also contains sections on how to pray and petition for your needs, also how to activate your confessions. Each prayer opens with a scripture and ends with several scriptures from the Bible for you to speak aloud and for you to study. So again, it's called Prayers and Confessions for Modern Christian Women. Go ahead to the website, mcwism.com, to get your copies. Okay, prayer number one, anxiety and fear. 
God did not give us a spirit that makes us afraid, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Father God, thank you for this day. I release words of faith and power into the earth. I come before you uncertain of what the day will bring or what my future holds, but I thank you for never leaving me or forsaking me. I thank you for helping me. Thank you for holding me in the palms of your hands. Lift the heaviness of my worries off of me. Lord, let me feel the comfort of your Holy Spirit. Take away the problems and heavy burdens in my life. Give me peace. Despite how I feel, I do not worry. I give all my anxiety to Jesus because he cares for me. Although I face injustice everywhere I go, I will not fear evil. God is with me. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I am a child of the Most High God. I am powerful. I am loved. I am blessed. God has given me power over all my enemies. Nothing can hurt me. I am always safe. I am brave. I am strong. I will not fear man or evil spirits. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No gossip, accusations, or traps set against me can succeed. I am covered by the blood of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God has given his angels charge over me. I am always safe and divinely protected. I declare that the blood of Jesus is against all fear, doubt, worry, or anxiety. Those spirits must flee from my mind and from my life. I am filled with peace. I have nothing to fear. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that it is so. Amen. Remember, give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. First Peter 5 and 7.